Hello, my name is Zach, and these are my group mates, Hazel, Jason, and Kiv. For our project, we went to the Nelson Homestead to volunteer and help out. The homestead is located in Deerfield, Mass., just north of UMass Amherst. Before I begin, I want to give a land acknowledgement. The land the homestead is built on is, and always will be, Pecumtuck land, and together we work to restoring these lands and giving them back to their respective owners once and for all. Wally and Juanita Nelson were proprietors of nonviolence during the Civil Rights Movement and built the homestead in 1974 in response to the government spending taxpayer money on war. When we arrived, we were greeted by Bob and Aaron, two maintainers of the homestead who kept the place running after Juanita's passing in 2015. They gave an introduction on the homestead, including how the house was built by hand by Wally and Juanita. Once we got to the house, Bob and Aaron asked us to take a look around and learning about the Nelson self-sustaining lifestyle. The house was built using scrap parts from other dismantled dwellings and lacks any running water or insulation. Wally and Juanita stayed true to their nonviolent ways even here, eating only what they grew in their gardening beds, refusing to hunt any animals. After our short tour, it was time to get some real work done. Bob had just cut down several trees to use as firewood for the stove in the house, and it was our job to move it. We began at the pile closest to the house at first, and Jason and Kiv quickly discovered that the most optimal way to move these logs would be by rolling it down the hill. This allowed us to complete the pile in a pretty reasonable amount of time. However, the other piles were not so easy. They were on flat land and were also obstructed by trees and other obstacles. So it proved more difficult to move them down the hill. Thankfully, Bob had some wheelbarrows lying around that we could easily load up and wheel down the hill. This overall was very hard, but it was also very enlightening for the experience of sustainable living and living alongside the land rather than dominating it. Go Jason, go! Later, Kiv and I split off with Aaron to tend to the garlic beds, which involved pulling away the mulch and sprinkling a mixture of lime and chicken manure over the garlic to fertilize them. After that, we went inside and had lunch. We were even treated to a slice of nature with the rare sighting of a porcupine. Afterward, we were treated to stories of the Nelsons with their sustainable lifestyle, their tax refusal, and their phrase, you don't gotta, which they used during protests against violence. We were even treated to the beautiful singing and banjo playing of Court, one of the maintainers. Overall, this was a very enlightening experience for the entire group. We learn so much about the sustainable lifestyle, how hard it can be, but also how rewarding it can be to live alongside nature rather than dominate it. This is truly an experience the group will never forget, and I'm glad we were able to experience the life the Nelsons got to live.